All right, doesn't Gary look good in his uniform? Look at that. Look at that. Look at this guy. Don't worry, guys. He's going to get his roots done. <laughs> They're giving him feedback on his roots. I never get feedback on my roots. I don't know why. Brian, here comes the 66 video. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Brian's 1966 Mustang Convertible 289C4. Here we go. Bobby doesn't want me to put him on the spot because he's really sick today, but he he, he struggled in. And I'm wearing a Chevrolet shirt. You can beat Oh, me. you know what? I don't even know what to say about that. Hold on, I'm putting it inside out. But, but Bobby created an awesome tool. I already talked to Alan at Mustang Country, and he's like, he wants to order one. We did this off the instructions that were supplied, That's Brian, awesome. from your uh, thing. He put... It, it cost a lot of money to make. It took a lot of time, but we now have a tool to to compress springs using the bottom of the spring perch and compressing the spring. And now Bobby's going to explain how this tool works. I'll, let me, actually, I'm going to throw something in there quick, Bobby. It basically bolts it bolts to the bottom of the spring perch. He, he welded two grade eight bolts in there. It goes to a long metal shaft, and then it goes. Did you the measurement here? Is that in the instructions for it to be that long? It's nine inches here. Really? And we wanted 12 inches on this piece because one inch goes So they think when it threads that far up, that's enough compression? That six inches is enough compression? Well, you're going to have, because you have to have the arm out of here, and you have this, you've got the spring sitting here. There's no chance it was not having enough thread to get this to get this We're gonna compressed have, enough. There's going to be plenty of thread. All right, right, good. Good attitude. So he created this thing. Look, he even put a bearing in here. There's a bearing that works up against it as he's as he's tightening the bearing, he's letting it rotate. This, I guess you you explain. I'm explaining everything. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I just had to. Sorry, man. I kind of improvised on the instructions we were originally given. Did you? Yeah. Why? Change this up a little better. Cause I didn't like how it was done. You made it better. Of course I did. You made it better than it was ever was before. Yeah. I don't like hokey stuff. All right, Bobby, show us. The sick guy isn't. He's sick. Always Bobby's done. sick today. Doing dying. A sick video. I kind of forgot to put that in there. Oops. Yep. Well, Sick, what they had... excuse? That's or, what we'll use. That's what we're going with today? Yeah. You're like, one thing I did in here is... They had a spacer in theirs. They had a spacer welded in here. Which, uh... Because the inside diameter of this is about 13 sixteenths on the bearing. Woo! Bearing. Anyway, they had a little spacer in there. On theirs, I'm like... That's kind of craptastic. I don't like that. Craptastic? Craptastic. Oh, we're gonna, the people Get are going to coin that for so, us. So, uh, and then I, instead of just welding the race gently without uh, warping it, you know, doing it right, they had the race pressed into a piece of exhaust tubing that was welded on there. I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of sketchy. So I pressed, I found a bushing that's 5 eighths inside diameter, which is what our thread is here. I pressed it in, pressed it in with my handy dandy shot press at my place into the bearing and cut it off flat so yeah it's gonna be nice it's gonna go like that and then that's gonna go there and this goes here it's gonna bolt to the shock mount here and it bolts to the shock mount on the spring it, 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 it bolt, it, it's it's just like a shock absorber the bottom of a shock guys and it bolts to the spring perch so these springs are going to be going in shortly but Bobby's sick today but he brought the tool in so we're going to show you how we're going to do it. We do have to do a little bit of double work, which I'm not happy about, such as life. we got to take this off again. Don't worry, Brian. It's not on you. It's on us. We just created this awesome tool that we're going to be used for many Mustangs. Not at your expense. That's a Mustang Medic. That's a Mustang Medic part. And we have to take off this upper control arm once again. So we're going to have this removed, and then we're going to have the spring down on the... On the spring perch we're going to crank it down to bring it up and, and once it's compressed one. then we put the the upper control hole arm underneath bolt it and bolt it to your lower holes which is the um, shelby drop so we got we created this tool especially for your project and uh it's now a mustang medic tool for many places many times to come so exciting times 
uh, and a new tool that's been custom created by Bobby Deseroff. Yep, and we'll make them if they want them. Yep, and if you guys want them, we haven't set a price on them yet, but uh, we can money. create this. I've already got Alan in Mustang Country saying he wants one. I guess we, uh, we better go through our first trial compressing this spring, and if it turns into a really easy job, this is going to be how we're going to do our spring compression in the future. We do a lot of them, so very happy about that tool. All right, next video, hopefully tomorrow. Um, tonight, we're going to, uh, today we're going to take off that upper control arm, get that clear on both sides, and uh, basically get those springs compressed and reassembler coming up. Thank you, Bobby. I go home and go to sleep. Yep. He's sick. He's not feeling well. I got three kids, so I got to stay away from them. Oh, come on, you don't breathe. Don't, no, no, no. No kissing today. <laughs> Easy there. PG channel. Weirdo. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Spring compressor created and get ready to be used. Take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com